All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the home office. Man, you guys wouldn't believe the amount of time I spent on the road. My car just turned 297,000 miles yesterday. It still runs as strong as the day I bought it. So anyway, I wanted to do a real quick video because uh, there's a sale going on over there at PSA uh, for the 77 grain open tip precision rounds. And that's one of the round, one of the pieces of ammo that I use. And uh, just real quickly, take a look at this. Here we go. Boom. And it's off to the rifle stage. Rifle, we have targets at 630, 660, and 618 yards. Hey! Nice. Hey! Nice. Nice, that was a nice long range shooting. Now he's off. Too short. Nicely done, real nicely done. Uh, <laughs> you know, the narration by my buddy Val, uh, Bald and Curious, man. If you guys aren't subscribed, as a matter of fact, I'll put the link down below. He has uh, got some really cool information out there, but uh, the guy can shoot like there's nobody's business. Um, yeah, so the 77 grain open tip, what, and you know, when I was talking about the earlier thing, this rifle behind me, um, it is going to be set up with the Griffin reticle from the guys over there at Primary Arms. Dimitri, my man. Uh, but it is best suited for the 77 grain open tip. Better, you know, Sierra, you could do Hornady, anyway, it's, it, it, whatever. But I'm not selling this thing because I don't believe in it, but I do believe in it. It hits hard. Uh, it hits very accurate. It flies straight, sub MOA all day long, and it's economical at $10.99 a box for 20 rounds. So uh, check out the uh, campsite link below. All right, so I'm not going to do that anymore. All right, but for that new rifle build, uh, I can't wait to finish that thing up. I'm probably more excited about that guy than anything. And one of the guys uh, said to comment, it's like you were surprised that it actually worked. And first of all, thank you very much for following the channel, man. Uh, it's good to know that I, my information helped. Um, but uh, I'm more excited about it because, you know, it's it's sent around the shop for a long, long time without having to do something. And I actually gaggled up the damn threads on that uh, uh, Seekins Precision Barrel. So I've got a, a die that I got to work on to it. I'm not really excited about that. But moving forward, we got a flamethrower. It came in. I'm very excited about that. My wife won't let me shoot it in the backyard, which, okay. And then I've got a new tripod set up from the guys over there at Huff Huff Gilger. And then uh, they sent this thing out. Um, I'm going to look at this. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is kind of like a magnetic ball pivot deal. And uh, it's interesting because there's so many different ways that, especially if you're a competition shooter, we use the Arca rail attachments, big turret ball heads, that kind of thing, uh, that can lock the gun in place. Um, there are folks out there that use the clamps. Matter of fact, that's a Kafiaga right behind me. And they sent a different type of clamp out. So it's interesting to see the development over the years. Um, what have I got here? Firefield. So we're going to go into some economic optics for guys out there who are just getting started in this thing. If you want a low power variable optic that does a good job, looks like it's got a decent reticle. Looks very familiar to me. <laughs> but in any case, man, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, the support, guys. It's a lot of fun. Remember, um, it's going to be interesting to see who she uh, nominates as her uh, vice president um, and uh, how we're going to approach that thing. It's, this is getting dangerous because she's getting popular, and uh, I can't stand it. So with that, guys, um, look forward to uh, seeing uh, how these uh, 77... I'm actually ordering about 200 rounds just so I can have it. I've got a whole stash of them over here, and then I just like using them. There's another ma manufacturer out there called uh, Callaway Ballistics. 
I use their 55 grain. They're balls to the wall. The 77 grain are hard hitters and they're really accurate as well. Um, so there's a, a thing in my uh, campsite. Go to the campsite below. I went ahead and moved both of those items up to the top so you can see what's going on. It's KB32. Hey, man, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, uniform 24 7 for our freedom. The freedom is not free. And a uh, big cup of beer just like this for my good friend Richard, my fellow paratrooper. We're going to go jump over in uh, uh, Normandy in 2026. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, y'all be good. I am out of here. Where's my button? There it is. See ya.